<coughs> existing box, new system. And it comes with just two racks with double sided tape on both, a power pack that controls off, two wireless push buttons. Take the cover off, it has the tester inside. You'll have a DVD and a small booklet installation booklet. A couple of fixings if you require them. The push slot piece that attaches to the power pack. Lock that in. Lock in. Now, test the door. Make sure it works okay. Close the door fully, in its closed position. Have this lined up virtually at the back end here, where it lines up the back, allow the pulley just about 10, 15 minutes to lap over, and that's my position. I'll just mark that and put a position where it's gonna fit. I'll just mark, use that as the marker where it's gonna fit. Push it as hard as possible there. Make sure that's nice and clean. Wipe it down so it's nice and clean. It's now got double-sided tape on there and I will just remove the, the red tape take that off okay again mark it push it hard to the and mark it again where I have lined it up in the first place push it down okay it's locked in all right that's Secured. Now I get the two racks, join them together. Make it locked in. A little bit interlocked in, like so, with the dovetail. See, they lock in at the back. And that's it. Now, this door here. It just happens to be that the door is long enough. Okay, now in this one here, I'm not going to mount it there because it won't fix to the glass there. So I'm going to turn it upside down and mount it this way. And so you can see now the fixings, the double sided tape will fix hard against the bottom rail of the door. Now I'll make sure that is pushed. The door is in a fully closed position. Now have a look here. I'll just mount that so. It's nearly right to the corner there. Now I know that is in the right position. And it's still on there. I'll take it a bit further actually, to there. Okay, so now I've got it there in the fully closed. It's lined to the back area there. That's where I'm gonna fix it, okay? That point there and there is lined up together. I'll now take the double-sided tape off. Okay, and we start not taking it all off. We just start with the one piece there and making sure it is locked in. Now, as I move it along, that's hard against there, that's okay. Now when I open the door, I then remove that. You see how I'm taking it off, but it's still hard down there. But I'm removing it. Okay, as we go along, I'm holding it down, holding it down pushing towards there to get the fixing, holding it down, holding it down, holding it down. Okay, that is secured to the, the glass door. And you just run it back and forward to make sure it's running okay. There it is, it's running nice and secure there. You can see it's fitting on really well. The, the adhesive one is double sided, so it works well. Okay, run it back and forward to make sure it's, it uh, runs okay, which it isn't. All right, now that's secured. Just make sure it's nice and hard against the glass, uh, the metal bottom rail. Okay, and that seems to be holding on quite well. Turn that off, let that go off. This is fairly strong adhesive in the double side. So, yeah, okay, we've moved it back and forth manually. You can see it's running nice and free there. Okay, that's that part. Yeah, put the plug in. Plug in the back 
Let's see. It. We're only get under there. Now I've got a PowerPoint that's just going to be on this side. Oh, it doesn't run far away. So I'll plug that in for the time being. With an extension lead just to test it out. Now we will we'll turn it on. It'll close first. again and it should remain closed okay now it knows it's in its closed position we know it's in the closed position um, now to test the door to see if it works it's just a matter of pressing the button down the below here with master press once the door will open we'll time out and close now there's adjustment there to how long you would like the door to stay open for, from 0 to 60 seconds. Okay, now there's also a um, pull assisted function, a matter of just pulling it slightly, and it will still open. Watch out, time, time out, and it will close again. It also has... A Again, I'll just do it again. It opens. Okay, and I'll show the auto reverse on uh, the timeout. And if it hits something in the path, put my hand there, stop, and I'll make reverse again. The pressure's very minimal. Okay, again, we'll time out, close again. So that's a basic system. And then you can then add out of push buttons. These are now from here. Uh, they come with double sided tape on either side of the door or on the openings of the door jams on either side. Now these are not programmed in. I'll now show you how to program these remotes into the door system. There's a learn button just here as you can see and it's a matter of pressing that button the red light line I'll press that remote and you can see it flashes on and off. I'll do the same for the other remote. As you can see, okay, it's learnt in. Now if I press this button now, you can see it opens the door. And the same with the other one. There's that time out. Now if I press this one while it's closing, you can see it opens. And then it's just a matter of mounting either one on either side of the door opening with the double sided tape or on the openings of the door jams on the architraves. And there you have it. It's eventually, you have an automatic door in a matter of 10, 15 minutes installed.